Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week we're going Grohl Monsters because Terror of the Peaks is back on the menu due to the reprint in Outlaws. So we're trying a bunch of new cards. We've got Outcast Trailblazer, Magda, uh, but most importantly, I want to talk about this, how how good is Terror of the Peaks. We don't know yet, so that's why we're going to try it. It was once a threat, like a huge threat, so we're happy to see it back. It's also got a cute little, I guess, not a combo because it's not you're going to definitely die, but you will be able to deal a lot of damage with your uh, to your opponent from Calamity Galloping Inferno, which has haste, and whenever it attacks while saddled, choose a non-legendary creature that saddled it this turn and create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of it. Sack that token at the beginning of the next end step. Repeat this process once. So you're hoping to then use Terror of the Peaks to saddle Calamity to then pop out another Terror of the Peaks, which will then trigger. And uh, so yeah, you'll be able to do a silly amount of damage off that. We've also got Cactus Folk Sure Shot as a way to have Ward, Reach, really the Ward because its ability to give our creatures the power four or greater Trample and Haste is huge. So this is kind of our replacement for Magda and uh, like, what is it, Alana and Helena, just because I want to see if the ward is better. And then we've got Stingerback Terror, which is two red, red, flying trample. It gets minus one, minus one for each card in your hand with plot for two in a red. This is a four mana seven, seven, and we're hoping to dump our hand to the point where this is going to be more often than not just a seven, seven. Let's see how we do on the ladder. I think I kind of love this hand, so let's go ahead and try it. I've got Ruby Daring Tracker, which will then feed right into the power of Cactus Sure Shot, right? So, I just gotta live this long. Simply, I just have to live long enough to have me do anything relevant. That's, that's monkey business, okay. Part of me wants to just play Ruby. Am I gonna regret letting Reckless Lackey live? Yeah, I got, I, I'm gonna just kill this. I feel like there's there's something here that's gonna come down and smack me for even more, so I don't want to give them any more damage than they need. And I might not even need to play Invasion here. Oh, wow, so they just straight up didn't have anything? There's no way they're on a one-lander, right? Sure. Odds are they will kill me if, if they have it, though, right? But this means they don't get to play their spell. I kind of love that. Oh, dude, yes. I'm gonna just go ahead and play Magda. Horde Master. Now that means that if they spend their mana, that they the one mana they have, they don't get a 1-1 counter on whatever creature they're trying to play. Or they say, screw it, and they play the creature anyways, then I get to keep Magda. Alright, so it looks like they're going with that route. Which is totally fair. No blocks. Take the five. I kind of need to find something to do, though. Like, can I afford to take more damage than what I'm about to take right now? I'm a little bit worried that they might have Monstrous Rage. But I at least have Reach. So if they play like Chicky Nuggets, it doesn't fly. I have Ward because Cactus Sure Shot is great. Ronin. Okay, I gotta block the Ronin. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't take any more nonsense from the opponent. So here's C. I'm assuming they're just gonna try to hit lands. That's a pretty bad draw. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to blow up one of these little etchings. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I can play this. Cool. When Truga, Truga Cliff Charger enters the battlefield, you may discard a card. If you do search your library for a land or battle card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. Uh, I guess I could grab another, another copy of Invasion of Ergamon at the risk of dying, but they only have three mana, right? Yeah, let, let's try this. Let's go deck thinning. Oh, wait. Besaju actually kind of saves me here. Because then I can potentially just pick off the etchings or the little creature land. Or even the Mishra's Foundry. That's fine. That's fine. Let's let them go to combat here. If they swing, they have a lightning strike. All right. So it looks like they do. Then I'll go ahead and just blow up the etchings of Kumano. Take one. I am at four. This makes it a lot more dangerous, but I kind of need to just get rid of their stuff here. And this could potentially mean that I'm going to get Monstrous Raged. All right, they don't have it at least, but they might have shocks and burn spells. I mean, if they have a... a sh 
A witch stalker's frenzy. How do they... Oh, it counts itself. Or it counts my stuff, too. That's kind of nuts. I did not expect that. Okay. Whenever... Oh, that attack this turn. I thought that was only for their creatures. Uh-oh. Yo, hey, I got a little cactus dude. Be cool. Oh, not the squee. They're gonna swing out? Am I dead? Oh, God. Am, am I dead here? Swift spear as a blocker. Nice. Spend three. I mean, no matter how they block here, I think they die. Oh, no, wait, they live. They live. They actually live right on the dot. They have to block my cactus shot. Oh, but wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cactus shot has trample, right? Other creatures you control have trample. Oh, it's other creatures. Nuts. I absolutely love this hand. I'm going to go with in Magda, potentially on turn two, depending on what the matchup is. But I should have a low enough hand count to where Stinger back Terror seems pretty terrifying. And if I draw my, like, Terror of the Peaks... Oh, baby. Hold on. What's the opponent doing over here? They look like they're getting kind of wild. Maybe I should actually just play... Am I just going to go ahead and straight up play Stinger back? Stinger back would get minus what? That's pretty good. I think I need to fire off uh, s something to do here. This thing has haste. That's so bad for me. I drew the exact same thing. All right. Feels good. Uh, I got chicken nuggeted. All right. So there's the nuggies. I'm taking six. I'm down to a comfy ten. I play Felden as a blocker. Try to blow something up. If I play this, Stinger back's gonna get a total of minus one, two, three, four, like five, so it becomes a two, two. That's kind of bad. If I play this, the end of my next turn, I get to block and shock, right? If I do this, I get treasures. That's not bad. You know, I'm just, I'm gonna just play this. I gotta hang back and block. And with Felden being legendary, I get to one mana blow up something. So I, I think I'm okay with this. Uh, oh, Witch Stalker's Frenzy. Can I afford to take another six, go down to four? I don't think so. I'm, I, I don't think I can. Plus, I'm hoping I draw a land or something here, but let's find out. I take four, I'm down to six. I don't know how much better that is, but it can't be the worst thing that happened to me. So, sure. I get five cards or any of them lands. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play play for the dragon here. Oh my god, they just keep playing bodies. Okay. Play Magda. Blow up the scoundrel. Get a treasure. Take one, go to five. Pass. Do they have more nonsense? Oh lord, okay. Sure. You got another one. GG's. Jeez, that's awkward. I can't actually cast what I want. I think I'm gonna name human. If I keep, yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. I'll just have to shock them to the dome. Really try to sc uh, scry and fix my mana here. Uh, is that a one drop? That is a one drop. That's kind of bad for us. Okay, I think I have to kill this or else I die. Um. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. Now I can get in there for one. Next turn, I can go ahead and play what. Horde Master plus Felden. Resolute Reinforcement. Hold on. Is this Mono White or is this... Hmm. Get in there. They want to double block. They can. Alright. I need to find any of my late game threats now. So my Calamities would be nice. Or like maybe not that one because I still need to get more mana. But Stinger Back Terror would be huge right now. Uh, you know, I'm gonna actually just go ahead and play that. Oh my god, that's so good here. Okay, a little off the top. Okay, so next turn I get to go ahead and have Terror of the Peaks here. Assuming I don't just get outright killed. Voldaren Epicure, sure. We have to go bigger before they go wide. Because then once we have some tall threats, they'll have to at least kind of respect. Okay, well, the respect isn't happening just yet. I think they're setting up. I mean, they'll get to exile two cards, right? 
Uh, I'm just going to play this. This is fine. So let's hang back because I think we're going to need a block. All right, they do not use the Iganjo, which is kind of scary to us because they just saw us play Terra the Peaks. Ah, there it is. Okay, they're going to just go for the one turn kill here. Let's just do this then. Cast the uh, Truggish Cliffhanger. Deal three damage to something to a knight. Which will be a crime. And then I can go ahead and play Get Sokenzin. Then that allows me to pick off two bodies. And also give myself two bodies. War Leader's Call is kind of a nuisance. Blow up that thing, that thing. I sacrifice three artifacts, or three treasures, and I get a 4-4 dragon. Gleeful Demolition is so nuts here. Oh my god. They can start chipping away at my board, but they choose not to. Okay. Let's get a 4-4 dragon. Do I send that upstairs, or do I pick off a body here? I'm gonna just pick off a body. The dragon has haste, but I could only deal 13 that turn if I had swung out. So I think I'm just gonna swing five. That's three, six, seven, three, six, seven. I have enough health to where I can comfortably block a little bit. Sucks that I had to ditch the uh, the creature land. I really did not want to. Felden is gonna go right in front of Knight Errant. This way I get to draw six cards or exile six cards. Recruiter going for it again. All right, nice. I, they might just be dead if they don't at least chip away, but they don't want to draw too many cards. Oh, that's so good here. Woo! Yeah, let's just go ahead and play that. Let's just go ahead and play that. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Seems good. I'll keep. I get to plot this for three. Play. Man, I wonder if I can double plot here. Is that too much plot? Is there such a thing as too much plot? Tony Bones already. Um, that's slightly terrifying. I play Ruby, I guess. Pass. Probably not going to attack into that. Like, what do I do about this? This dude is going to get in there and start getting my stuff. Oh, nuts. Ha ha ha! All right. <laughs> sure, go ahead. They saw through the line. They saw the line. They saw the line. All right, I'll take one. Uh, I'm going to plot the big dragon away. If they cast Ruby, that's fine. It only adds green or red, requiring them to spend all their mana. What else would play Tiny Bones? Blue, black, mid-range. There's no way they're a ninjutsu deck, right? Okay, cool. Whew! All right, play Ruby. You got it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to name Dragon. I'm going to go ahead and play Cactus Sure Shot. And I'm going to pass. So they have to answer my Cactus Sure Shot here. So I've named Dragon. Meaning I can play Terror of the Peaks, then cast Stinger back Terror. This has Ward. Cactus Sure Shot has Ward. That's why I play that over Alana and Helena. Because now it makes them pay a lot more mana to deal with it. Oh, that's so annoying. That Deep Cavern Bat just came in at the perfect time. I was going to do the turn. I mean, you take Terror. Right? There's no discussion here. You take terror. Uh, sure. Oh, nuts. Okay. Okay, so I have to now block Tony Bones or will they get... No, but Stingerback's just gonna get shrunken by them. Three, six. So there's six cards. Oh, Blood Letter? That's so crap. Okay, you can get through. I'll take two for that. They can't actually deal more damage or, like, get more mana to cast the Stinger back, so I'm okay with this. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Okay. They can double block here if they'd like. I don't think they will. All right, I'll go ahead and pass. I absolutely cannot let them... Oh, but I, I also can't do anything about this Blood Letter right now. This Blood Letter is kind of nuts. Good game, GG's. Uh, yeah, let's run it. I have a shock, I have two shocks, so all right. It's some kind of soldier's deck. I mean, in reality, I'm still gonna just shock the recruitment officer. 
I don't know why I'm waiting to see what they play, because it's not like it really changes much of anything. Yeah, that, that's still the same. This saves my health. Uh, I'm going to play Magda and pass, see if they have the, uh, the, whatever, the human that exiles. Hoping they don't, but they always do. Brutal Cathar, that is. I mean, how much do you even care about this Magda Horde Master, right? Something bad's about to happen to me. That's what I thought it'd be. Okay. I'm gonna actually plot this turn, believe it or not. Okay, Harbin, you got it. Can't do anything about it, I'll just take all of that. May I have another? Uh, I have a 5-5, five five, so I guess this might be okay. I don't know, I don't, I don't see much else from them. Okay, they have a Harbin. Brutal Cathar almost ends it here. I mean, they just swing in, right? They still swing in every step of the way. No, they don't. Okay, sure. Red. There you go. If I attack, I'm dead. Like, if I don't attack, I'm also dead. So I may as well swing. Yeah, I just swing in. This at least limits the amount of blockers they have back. And maybe it makes them respect my, uh, my bodies a bit more. And plus, if they play Brutal Cathar, it's kind of all the same anyways. Sure. Yep, go for it. Let's see if they attack. Oh, okay, cool. Sure. I, mean, I gotta get something going. I think this gets all the bodies off the board, right? They'll get three humans back, so it's all the same there. Can I survive? Because everything will get plus two, plus one, and fly, right? But this does not have trample, or this does not have reach. I can't force enough pressure to kill them. They pump everything anyways. So I'm, I think I'm dead, no matter how this plays out. That's two, four, five, six, right? Yeah, yeah, and they get the counter, then they get the Harbin buff. I'm pretty much cooked no matter where this goes. Unless there's something that I'm missing here. Maybe I need to play, what? Uh, I, don't, I don't see why they would block like that, but I'm here for it, okay. I'm getting trolled, right? What happened? Why would they block with Harbin? Well, if they go and do Valiant thing again, that's exactly six yet again, or seven again. They could just kill us. They don't even have to use Valiant effort. They could just do the, four to, uh, the forehead beach. They have another chance to kill me here. They can lethal me again. They just simply need to attack. That's it. There you go. GG's, GG's. Uh, blue and black from the opponent right now. I mean, I get to ramp. Let's see what they play. They're a bat. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, so our hand's gonna get disrupted all the time. I guess they take the play with fire, so I have to Scorching Shot. That's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and play Magda. Pass. I'm not gonna use it on the bat until I absolutely have to, and if there's something better, I'll do that. Or they just play another bat and take this. That's also fine. All right, Virtue. That's obviously great. I'm gonna plot, so then next turn I get to potentially go Outcaster Trailblazer into Terror, assuming I don't get Bat this turn. Blood Letter? Well, 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 I only could wonder what they might try to do to me. Oh, that's such a bad draw. Okay, pass. Oh boy. Really did not want that to be a land. Uh, this feels kind of bad. This feels kind of bad. I'm wondering, do I play Trailblazer or do I play Terror first? I'm doing it in this order specifically. I'll add a green and then four damage. I'll deal it here. There's no reason to settle for just a 1-1 one, one Hydra. That doesn't even do anything, really. So, are you going to go for the throat? So now, if they'd like to counterspell me, they can. You got it, right here. No counterspell from the opponent. We love that. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just blow this up. No way, we were getting calamity! No! Thanks for checking out this video, and thanks for making it to the end. If you want to see some more nonsense, check out the Blood Letter combo in Standard that's using Rush of Dread as well.